Hey, what's going on guys? Goose here with Newbie Drone, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install a Crossfire Nano on the TBS Oblivion FPV Racer. So here I've got a fresh TBS Oblivion right out of the box. This is exactly how it'll come, so I can show you guys just how easy it is to hook up the Crossfire Nano to this. Here on my finger, I've got the Crossfire Nano. You're also going to need this VTX of five volt cable that comes with the Oblivion. We're gonna be using this because the one end of the cable has the smaller plug, and that's actually going to plug into this top left plug right here. For the pinout on the very left, we're gonna have our 4.7 volts or five volts. Next, we're gonna have ground. Then we'll have our UART1, which is TX and then we'll have another UART one which is going to be the RX on the very end. So normally what I would do is just cut this end with the bigger plug since we have to solder directly to the Nano but since I don't want to use this since it's the kit I have another harness that has the exact same kind of cable and I've arranged the cable set that will be in the same order for when we plug in so I'm just going to use this for our demonstration purposes. First I'm going to go ahead and clip this like you would the other cable. Now I'm going to strip each end of these cables. Okay, once they're all stripped, I'm going to pre-tin them a little bit and we're just going to get a little on the tip. And then we will start uh, pre-tinning the cables. Now I've got the Crossfire Nano in a clamp and we're ready to solder the harness to it. So first we're gonna do the ground cable which is on the very right. Next we will do the power cable. And then the TX and the RX cables. Now what I like to do is twist the wire so it gives it a little more strength and it also makes everything look a little nice and neater, keeps everything more tidy. Okay, that's pretty good. Now we've got our oblivion and we can go ahead and plug the harness in. Now next I would recommend if you're planning to put heat shrink over this so it doesn't short and contact anything on here and slide it over and put it down the harness before we attach our antenna. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab our antenna for this demonstration I'm using an Immortal T antenna. Normally you'd throw your heat shrink on there now but I'm not doing it so I'm just gonna go ahead and attach the antenna. Okay, once that's clicked on there and now we're ready to bind the receiver. Now we're gonna go ahead and set up and bind the Crossfire Nano receiver to our radio. In this case, I'm using a Tyrannus with the Crossfire module on the back. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is create a new model. I've already done that. You're gonna to wanna to hit menu, a page. I'm gonna scroll up to get to the bottom. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is turn off the internal receiver. I'm gonna go down to here to mode and just scroll to off. Scroll down to external RF, hit enter. Then we're going to change that to Crossfire. Go ahead and hit Exit. Get out of that mode. Hold down Menu. Hit Page. Then you can see we got Crossfire on the top. Go ahead and hit Enter. Then down to Crossfire Lua. Hold that down. And right before that, I'm going to go ahead and take our Oblivion and plug in a battery. Go ahead and hit Binding. Telemetry recovered. Now that's bound. I'm going to exit out of that. And I'm going to scroll down to Nano RX. Hit enter. Scroll down. And you're going to want to make sure the output map, output 1 and 2, are set to Crossfire TX and RX. I've already bound it on this Nano before, so it's already set. But I think by default it's set to uh, PPM. So you'll want to change that to Crossfire TX and then output two will automatically change to Crossfire RX. And then go ahead and hit exit. 
and you're all done binding it and setting it up. All right, guys, so that's how you install and bind your Crossfire Nano to the TBS Oblivion. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll have a link to where you can get your Oblivion and your Crossfire Nano in the video description. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.